Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are using a data model that is connected to a large relational database as its data source, then you may often find that you are using the same data fields within multiple related tables as the source of information for your pivot tables and pivot charts within your workbook. It can sometimes be difficult to remember which columns you need to use within which tables in the relational database when constructing these pivot tables and pivot charts. In order to help assist users in accessing a more manageable data set of only the columns of data that they need to use, you can create a perspective within the Power Pivot data model. A perspective, much like a view in traditional relational database terminology, is simply a definition of which columns from which tables should be displayed within a single view of your data source. While a perspective does not exist in the same way that a traditional base table within the database does, it is created temporarily to allow access to only the columns of data you select from tables within a single view of the data. Creating a perspective can result in less scrolling and hunting through the columns of data that you will need to use within large tables in a data model. To create a perspective of your data within the data model window, click the Create and Manage button that appears within the Perspectives button group on the Advanced tab within the ribbon of the Power Pivot for Excel data model window. Note that if you do not see the Advanced tab within the data model window, then you may be running Power Pivot in normal mode. You can switch to Advanced mode and thus display the Advanced tab in the ribbon by clicking the File tab in the ribbon of the Data Model window and then selecting the Switch to Advanced mode command from the menu that appears. Within the Perspectives dialog box that then appears, you will see the tables in the Data Model listed in an expandable and collapsible list at the left side of the dialog box. Click the plus sign next to the names of any tables whose columns you wish to add to the perspective to view the column names. To then create a new perspective, click the New Perspective button at the top of the dialog box. Then type a name from the new perspective into the top of the column that appears. Underneath the column name, check the checkbox that appears to the right of any column that you want to add to the perspective from the tables within the data model. When you're finished adding columns to the perspective, click the OK button to finish. To then filter the view of the data model to only the columns that are selected within the perspective, click the Select drop-down button within the Perspectives button group on the Advanced tab in the ribbon. Then select the name of the perspective to use from the drop-down list that appears. The tables within the data model will then be filtered to only display the selected columns from the selected tables. To view all of the data within the data model again, click the Select drop-down button within the Perspectives button group on the Advanced tab in the ribbon, then select the default choice from the drop-down list that appears to view all the data within the data model again. You can also edit and delete perspectives that you have created. Once again, open the Perspectives dialog box by clicking the Create and Manage button within the Perspectives button group on the Advanced tab within the ribbon. You can then edit the definitions of the perspective shown by simply checking or unchecking the checkboxes within the Perspectives column. To delete a perspective, hold your mouse pointer over the perspective definition that you want to delete. You will then see three buttons appear at the top of the selected perspective definition. You can click the leftmost button of the three buttons shown to delete the selected perspective. Then click the OK button when you are finished managing your perspectives. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.